Hello and welcome back to another Back to Basics Computer Craft Let's Play tutorial from Klebco. Uh, we talked about for loops last time and we showed how you could make a, a, an easy tower using some for loop repetition. And there's another type of loop that I wanted to talk about briefly, it's the while loop. And for loops are great for doing something a set number of times. Uh, for an example, in this case, we had it go five squares and then four different sides, and so that was all set up. But if you want to do something uh, over and over again, and not a certain amount of times, but uh, let's say, for example, you were going to put some, some stone into this turtle, and you wanted him to keep on going until he ran out of stone. And you weren't sure beforehand how much stone he was going to have in him. He could have 16, he could have 33 and you didn't know for sure. Well, you could use a while loop to do that. Or if you wanted to have another turtle uh, just dig down all the way until he hit bedrock, uh, that would be another while loop. So let's go ahead and show a while loop off. Uh, they're pretty simple. Let's go ahead and go into our disk and edit while. And here's an example of uh, a while loop where he keeps on putting down blocks until he runs out. So we're going to give him just a few blocks so we can show it off. We'll just say three, maybe. And it's as simple as this. It's uh, while, and now you put a condition in. And in this case, we want to do turtle get item count at slot one is more than one do. So what this is, is this is a function. It gets how many items are here in slot one, uh, slot one. And while we have more than one item, in fact, we can do this while well, more than zero. Well, we have more than zero items, so if we have one or more, then we're going to turtle dig down, and then we're going to turtle place down, and then we're just going to go turtle forward, and end. So very simple. Uh, as long as this is true, it'll keep doing this over and over again. So here we have, it should set th exactly three blocks. So we're going to save that and run while. And one, two, three, he runs out of blocks and he stops going forward. So that's pretty simple. Another thing that's nice about while statements is you can, uh, go back three, you can add, uh, you can add more than one permission or parameter on that. So let's give him a few. Now when he mines up these three, it's going to add to his slot one, so he should go six this in this case. Uh, in fact, why don't we just mine it up for him, just to make this a little simpler uh, to understand. And now, in this case, he should go forward, uh, let's say we want him to go forward to 11. Well, if we added another case to this while statement, edit while, we could say, we could make a variable, so we're going to call it, um, let's say, num, number. And we're going to start it off at zero. And then we're going to say at the end of this one, we want number to be increased by one. Number equals number plus one. Okay, so every time we do this, it this number starts at zero, and it gets one higher, and it gets one higher, and it gets one higher. So here's a way that we can add another case to this. So right now, he's going to stop when he runs out of blocks. But he'll also stop. He needs both of these things to be true. Uh, he needs blocks, and also number needs to be less than four. Okay, so whichever those conditions comes or is no longer true first, they'll both stop the, the loop. So we're going to save that and exit it, and I'm going to type in uh, while to run the loop. Now, if I, didn't take, if I didn't put that second part in, he would do it for 11 times, but we'll see. He should do it for less than 11. One, two, three, four. So do you notice that four that I put in? Go back, four. In this loop, both of these conditions have to be true. Both the count has to be more than zero, so he has to have uh, stones. And also, number has to be less than four, so he has to have moved less than four times. So you can put a lot of different parameters. You can have it check to see if a few different things have uh, a few different slots have variant values. You can check to make sure that he hasn't gone too far. Whatever checks that you want, you can put in a while statement. So walls are, are another great way to use loops. Uh, they're different than fours. Again, a for loop is a great way to do something, something a set amount of times, and a while loop is great to do something until some sort of condition has changed. So I'm going to go ahead and use this while loop and uh, I, I don't need this number 
is less than four, so I'm going to get rid of that. And what I need, what I want him to do, my little turtle, is I need to get this road going. Uh, I actually need turtles to sort of fill in this whole this whole area because there's been a there's been a natural disaster recently. Uh, you know, nature can be fickle. But uh, we're going to go ahead and fix it up. We're going to use our turtles to lay down some grass and lay down some stone. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with laying some stonework down for this, uh, for this place. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this start to run. We're going to fill in our, our hole of despair. And uh, go ahead and use wall loops. They'll, they'll be very helpful for you. And until next time, happy computing.